Here we are with my mom. And we're about to organize the other part of the vanity. And I am scared to show you. <gasps> Look at that mess! My goodness. My goodness. And then it's the second one. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, there's not much, much stuff here, but the other one is full of stuff. So then I will show you how it looks when we're done, hopefully, or I don't know, part of it. <laughs> hey guys, I'm with a big camera because my phone decided to start acting up just now. So, oh my goodness. Um, so let me show you how, okay, well, see this is my vanity and we're still working on it. I mean, I have this box here of nail polish that... I haven't opened this since when I moved from Connecticut to Florida, like two years ago, almost two years ago. So um, we're still going through that and there's a lot of nail polish that I'm going to be throwing out. And here, let me show you, it looks better now. We put on this box here, we put um, the nail polish that I tend to use during the winter. Even though, like I said, I don't have a rule of what color I wear and now guys, believe me, since Lucas came home, I don't paint my nails often at all. I mean, <laughs> my goodness, like, I don't even know when was the last time I paint my, I painted my nails. I mean, it's, it's been a while. So, yeah, so I have the color that I tend to use during the winter here. And then here, I separated some of the colors that I might use uh, during the summer. That I, I, if I have time to paint my nails, these are the colors that I probably will use. So, yeah, so I, we kind of separated that there. And then here, um, I just have my hair straightener and, I don't know, just a couple more things. But uh, I, I still have some room there to put to put other stuff. But, yeah, that's it. So we're working on that and dinner is cooking. And in, in later after that, I don't know, guys, I might tell you um, about something, something that I have in my head that happened to me today when we went to uh, Belk, to that store Belk that we were supposed to go the other day and we didn't go and we went there because you know I wanted to get something uh, to wear for Mother's Day uh, Sunday so even though I think we're gonna go out tomorrow Saturday but anyways I will tell you more about later about something that just happened to me and I was like mm, I'm feeling pretty down I gotta say but uh, yeah guys I will talk to you about that later okay see ya okay guys since dinner is still in the oven and I do have better lighting now and my phone decided to work again so I decided to kind of talk to you about what happened to me at the store um, just a couple hours ago when we were with my mom so uh, like I said I was looking for something most likely a dress to wear for Mother's Day uh, my first Mother's Day as a mother so I'm, I'm very excited and <laughs> I, okay, I, it's been a long time since I've been the last time that I went to a fitting room, right? Because, uh, you know, when I was pregnant, I did buy clothes, but I bought them online, so I didn't go to fitting room, um, and, you know, they happened to fit me just great. And then, but after that, I haven't been in a fitting room before, so let's just say it was pretty shocking. I mean, um, what hurts me the most, and, and I mean, I know this is all worth it. But the worst part is that, guys, I mean, okay, I know right after Lucas was born, I wasn't really filming at all, actually, for a few weeks. I mean, I, I didn't start filming until he came home and, and all that. But what makes me sad, when I look, look at myself in the mirror today, when I was at the feeding room, is I look at myself and I said, yeah, the bad part, guys, is that um, when I look at myself today, like I said, in the feeding room, Number one, I said, man, I need to lose a lot of weight. Um, and I know you might maybe look at me on camera and you might say, oh, no, like, you're fine. You're fine. You just had a baby. But let me tell you why I am so upset is because I, like I said, I wasn't filming right after he was born, but I was lighter. I was slimmer right after Lucas was born than now. And you might say, why? How come? You know, you usually right, right, right after you have a baby, that's when you're the heaviest. Well, in my case, I mean, I, I didn't gain that much weight. The fact that he came five weeks early, that also, you know, played a big part on that. Uh, and 
Then, you know, when he was at the NICU, I was eating my feelings out because I was stressed. I was stressed, I was scared of what was gonna happen to him, you know, when I didn't know when he was gonna come home and all that. So I think what I was eating then, it seemed to me that I, it was, you know, when you're so stressed that you eat and you don't gain weight. <laughs> I don't know if that ever happened to you guys, but that's how it was, right? So I was eating just whatever I wanted, but I was so stressed, you know, for the fact that he was at the NICU that I wasn't really gaining weight. Then when he came home finally, I kept eating, 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 eating like anything I want, you know, like going out to eat and, and my mom's amazing cooking, you know, homemade food. Um, and also like a lot of stuff that I don't usually have when I'm eating healthy, like say, you know, bread or soda. I mean, I've been, I've been having soda every day. I've been having bread every day, things that I don't, I don't usually do, but I don't know now why having visits at home somehow it makes it hard for me to eat right i mean you know it's like they eat all those kind of things and i feel like eating those too so yeah so anyway so that's what hurts me the most right now is that i think how i looked right after i had him and and now about eight weeks later and i realized that i'm heavier now than right after he was born and that's what that's what pisses me off and today when i saw and i don't know if it's the lighting in the film rooms i don't know really what it is uh, I do think there's something about the film rooms that make you look even worse than what you really are. You know, it's like they enhance all your flaws or something. That's that's how I feel. And you can leave me a comment down below, give me your opinion and, and let me know what you think. But that's how I feel. Uh, and apart from that, like I said, I know I need to lose weight. I know I have a few extra pounds to lose, um, not just because of the pregnancy, but most okay and now my phone decided to die again to not not die but like the camera is not working i don't know what's going on i don't know if my memory is full or what but anyways guys so i'm filming with the camera now and i really have to go because uh, like i said dinner is almost ready now but i wanted to get that out of, out of my chest uh i know i mean i know i'm not the only one that feels this way um especially right after having a baby i mean i don't know but like i said what hurts me the most is knowing that i was actually looking better right right after birth i'm not kidding like two three days after a c-section i was looking slimmer than now i mean because i yeah i did have a little belly but you know nothing too crazy uh and my whole body was slimmer my arms were slimmer my legs were slimmer now i oh just like i today i look at myself in the mirror i was like whoa like it was like a reality check you know because i haven't like i said been buying clothes or going to film rooms or anything like that for for a long time so it was pretty bad pretty sad and so i left so i ended up buying just i was gonna buy a dress and the dress i tried was awful on me it looked awful my mom says the dress was awful anyways but i think it looked i don't know it just looked terrible terrible on me i don't know if it was the lighting i know if the extra pounds too i don't know guys so I bought like a kind of like a cute shirt that I'm gonna wear um, tomorrow because actually we're celebrating kind of like we're gonna do something at home on Sunday but tomorrow we're gonna go out to eat. So I'm gonna be wearing that and I still wanna get a pair of shorts, a pair of sheen shorts that I don't wanna, they have some cute ones but I didn't wanna spend $30, $40 on a pair of shorts that in one or two months I'm not gonna be wearing anymore because I, I once I started the period diet, you guys know me, <laughs> When I start the paleo diet, boy, I lose a lot of weight quick. So yeah, so I don't, I didn't want to spend that much money. So tomorrow morning, I think we're gonna go to TJ Maxx and hopefully find something cheaper. Uh, and a pair of shorts, I don't know, or maybe a dress. If I find a dress, I wear the dress to go out to it. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out of my chest. And like I said, I know I'm not alone, but if you feel that way after giving birth. Let me know, so I, I know even better, you know, that I'm not alone, and, and like I said, I know that you, again, you're not alone, you know, that happens to me too, and to a lot, a lot of women out there, so, okay guys, uh, so I wanted to make this kind of coffee talk here, uh, and I'm probably gonna end my vlog here, because I don't want to make it too long, and thank you so much for watching, guys, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, if you enjoyed it, if you have fun on this blog, blog kind of sit, sit down video now. Uh, but yeah guys, so thank you so much and I will see you on my next one. Bye!